Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I am only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. A couple of years ago, I had a dream. And now, some people may think or say that I saw the movie Titanic one time too many. But I can't help what, what my dreams are. And I, and I do know this dream was from God. So I will relay it to you because it's important. Because I think God thinks it's important. In this dream, I was on the Titanic. And like Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio, I was at the very back railing of the ship. Right just within moments before the last half of the ship sank, went underwater. <clears throat> and no, no one was with me. I was alone. And I was standing there at the rail. And... And to my right was a line of people on the rail, and to my left was a line of people on the rail. And I noticed, I noticed that all these people, every single one of them, every one of them, they were praying. They were praying mighty, powerful, awesome prayers. Mighty, mighty prayers. Like, like you've never heard uttered before. And they were all, oh, they were sincere because they knew they were going to die and, and moments away from death. And they were praying and praying and praying, praying hard, crying, weeping, wailing, praying, praying, praying hard. But one thing I noticed that stood out to me, not one, not one person was praying that God spare their lives they were all praying that God save their souls and somehow that impressed upon me and today it's become apparent that we are all on the Titanic now and we are all at the rail now some people might be praying that God spare their lives but I think it's more important that we pray God spare our souls. After all, what's more important? This dream was brought up to me. And so, if it's important to God, then God wants me to tell you, remind you of this dream again. <clears throat> we are in the last days. Time is short. Time is short. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back with a lifeboat called the rapture. And those that are worthy, washed in the blood, born again, those will be saved. Those will be saved. But for the rest, they go into the water. I just wanted you to know. Now was the time. Now was the time. Now is the time to repent of sin. Humbly, sincerely repent of sin. You may not realize it, but we are all standing at that rail. And we're moments away. We're moments away from death. From destruction. So what are you praying for? That God save your life or God save your soul? very important question in these last days. My life is not that important. 
but where my soul spends eternity. More important than anything, more important than everything. Because I want to be with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For where He is at, for where I want to be. Humble yourself, repent of sin, beg for forgiveness of your sin. Pray the blood of Jesus wash over you, wash all your sin away, wash you clean, wash you white as snow. And then beg Jesus to come into your heart as your Lord and Savior, to give you a new heart, to lead you and guide you, to be with you every step for every day upon this earth that we have left. The rapture is soon. The rapture is very soon. And then after that, the tribulation comes. And unspeakable horror is coming. Unspeakable horror. My job is to warn you. That's why God gave me all my all my dreams, all the tribulation dreams, a multitude, a multitude of tribulation dreams. I saw death and destruction in America. I saw America destroyed in a multitude of ways. And I used to think that it was to mask or hide the way that America would get destroyed, but then later on I realized that it was not one way that America gets destroyed, but it's every way. It's all the ways off. They're all coming at once. But the Bible says, when you see these things come about, lift up your head for your redemption draw nigh. So our redemption, our great catching away, the rapture is very soon, very soon. And you don't want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. So we keep you in our prayers. We pray for you. If you have a prayer request, we pray for you. And we pray for the lost. Because they have no idea. They have no idea what's coming right at them. Right at them. Right at them. We keep you all in our prayers. Because you all, every one of you, have been a gift from God to us. A gift from God. And we love you also very, very much. And our wish and our prayer is that we see you on the streets of gold on that day. On that day. And if anyone's interested, uh, I've started building water filters again. So if you need a water filter, because one day soon we're going to be without power and no power means no water so if you need a water filter please see in the comment section below and there's uh, information how to get a water filter for a donation god bless you god keep you keep you and your family in our prayer we, we keep you in our prayers god bless you and god keep you in his loving arms just like he held me just like he held me my goal, my goal is to get back into those loving arms where I once was, to get back, because that's where I belong, and that's where you belong, in the loving arms of Jesus, because nothing else can save us, nothing else can save us, so we keep all of you in our prayers, God bless you, amen.